All right, we're continuing our team coverage. If you use Metrolink for your morning commute, be aware that historic rainfall and flooding, it is causing service disruptions. And those issues, well, they may not end anytime soon. Fox 2's Chris Renier live in the Central West End to explain. Chris, what can you tell us? Time, Margie. Good morning to both of you. Certainly challenges for Metrolink this morning. We are at the Forest Park, the Bolivar station. This station shut down this morning. This is one of the Metrolink stations hit hard by the massive storms. And that's a problem for Metrolink because this is a really pivotal point in their system where the red and blue lines connect in the city. Bob Marito, Automotive Group, Sky Fox, over this station yesterday, you can see the amazing pictures with the tracks underwater. Metro officials say besides the flooding on the tracks, the high water also causing damage to Metrolink equipment, network communications and signals, especially here at Forest Park de Bolivar. As a result of all of that damage, Metro officials say it's possible that normal Metrolink service might not be restored for potentially two weeks or even longer. This morning, Metrolink riders who travel through St. Louis City and County are being encouraged to seek alternate transportation options until further notice. Here are the latest details now on Metrolink operations. Metrolink trains are operating on a 20 minute schedule between the Central West End Station and the Shiloh Scott Station. No red line trains are running between Lambert Airport and the Central West End Station. No blue line trains are operating between the Central West End Station and the University City Big Bend Station. So, to travel between the Central West End Station and Shiloh Scott, Metro official state riders should only use those red line trains since there are no blue line trains operating east of the Central West End location. For now, live in the Central West End, Chris Renier, Fox News.